Mitch Wogut had a good run tonight. He'll start P5 with Hamish Derrick on the outside. Bray Thomas from Rockhampton is out of seven with Patrick Ray on the outside of four. Khan Thoroughgood has got the Queensland champ. Aiden Rigby, he struggled tonight with car dramas. And he'll start out of position number 10. And Bodie Russ, who still came tonight after being... They knew they were going to be late, but they've still come, run the last heat, and now the feature race. He'll start from the back. So, junior sedan, top stars. Lights go green, and we're away. Not start from the front two. Richter's just the door. McDonald into turn number one. He'll lead him through one and two. He gets crossed up. McDonald makes contact. He's all out of shape. Peels in the back of him. He's going to spin around, and we have a car park at a Tattersall's turn number two. I thought we were going to have something much, much bigger, Braden, when I saw the AJ car point back towards the racetrack. So we're lucky to get away with what is a minor accident, but I'd say we may have some damage to the peel machine. And this seems to be going back out into the track, so he might be a OK. But frantic peel stuff. onto the front row. Next to Kane Richters. For your junior sedan top stars. Feature race brought to you by Handy Hire. Lights out, we're going green once more. We're racing into turn number one. Another sprint car start for our junior sedans. They start coming out of turn three. This time Curtis Peel gets the spoils going down into turn one and he'll lead Richters. As I go down the back straight away, Rigby's in tow. Wogan's made his way up into fourth. And McDonald at the back's got some work to do. But if anyone can come from the back, it's Billy McDonald. As he put the first one in the book for our top star final. Give it to Curtis Peel for lap number one. There's a big gaggle of cars from fourth all the way back to about eighth and ninth spot. Billy McDonald, the man on a mission up high. He's already put four or five cars behind him. And he's looking to make another one as he comes up to the back of Hamish Derrick. Plenty of drive on the top side of the racetrack. If he runs there long enough, it'll just get racier. So he's side by side with Derek now down the front straight away. Got himself up at a fifth spot as he goes around the 68 machine. Mitch Wogan is the next one at his side. Says Peel, still your leader from Richters and Rigby. Billy McDonald is on rails at the moment. He's found himself up to fifth spot. He's now challenging Wogan around the top side for fourth. He's got to be careful to make sure Wigan knows he's there, otherwise he might end up in the fence very, very quickly. You've got to make sure you're far enough alongside as they exit the corner. The wall closes up, especially the turn four here. You run out of room very quickly. So Bill and McDonald struggling to get past Wogan as Peel's got a bit of a gap back now to Richters, who's slipping to the clutches of Rigby slightly. Oh, McDonald tries outside, clouts the wall in turn four. Yeah, McDonald does a good job there to keep it pointed straight. It can be very easy to lose the car as you tag the wall. Gets all out of shape, rips the wheel out of your hands, but he does well. And he continues his battle with the 81 of Wogan into turns three and four. He looks to the top side once more. Is he up far enough now? Yes, he is. Give him up to fourth spot now. Great drive. A little bit of a bounce from Wogan through three and four. Helped AJ, oh, sorry, Billy on the outside. Gets a good run again through one and two. Wogan's not done with, mind you. He's fighting back on the inside in the shell cross. 81, Richard. Oh, he lifts the inside rear. I thought the charade was going to go up and over. McDonald makes the part stick. And here comes Derek on his way through. Now Wogan's found himself battling for fourth. Now he's found himself back to sixth. As Derek slips up to the fifth spot now. They're all out front. Curtis Peel has pulled a big lead to the rest of the field. Richards is coming under... A bit of an attack now from Josh Rigby for second and third position. But now here comes Billy McDonald. He wants a slice of the action as well. I tell you, as long as he doesn't run out of laps, he's going to be challenging this group very, very soon. The battle's still on over the racetrack. Wogan's trying to give it back to Derek, who's having a ripper race up there in fifth spot. Braith Thomas is battling with Patrick Gray and Aiden Rigby at the back as well. So this battle for second spot heating up now as Rigby tries to go down the inside of Richter's that time, and this is just bring Billy McDonald into the fray, who's found some speed in turns one and two. Billy McDonald is fired up out there tonight. He closed up four car lengths of the cars ahead. He goes to the high side of Rigby. Can he get the run he needs in the front straight away into turn one? They go this time. Billy McDonald to the top side of Rigby. They're side by side. Can he get the run on the back straight? Rigby holds on. The Bundaberg 2 machine is a rocket upstairs right now and he's alongside Rigby, has to check up, hits the inside rut, 
And that lets McDonald through to third spot. He's got Richters in his sights now. Peel has disappeared down the road as these guys have been fighting. Can Billy get past? There's five laps remaining in this one now. McDonald finds us up in third and battling for second from Richters. He looks to the top. He looks to the bottom. There's a lap car there. And oh, he's into the wall once more. He keeps it going in the front straight away. There's less than a car length separates second and third. Billy McDonald gives a bit of a tap as they head into the turn number two. Down the back straight away, they come into turn number three. This is Junior Sedan Racing at its finest. McDonald down the inside of Richter's now. They're close. No touching as they make their way through three and four. McDonald loses a bit of drive out of the corner there, and Rigby's right back in this battle. So Peel's checked out. He's probably down the road too far, but who's going to round out the podium? There's less than a second separating second, third, and fourth. Billy McDonald is using all of the racetrack he can. There's only three laps left in this one now. McDonald to the inside of Richter's into turn number one. He slides up in front of him. Billy McDonald from the rear of the field to second position. I tell you, this boy can drive and he has a future in Speedway, I assure you. The car is mighty fast and he's not got a dent on the thing. The white flag in the air, so Peel's collected the, the white flag and McDonald's found himself in a healthy second spot with a gap back to Richter's. He was sent to the rear of the field on the first lap. He's made his way back up to second. But take nothing away from the Bundaberg 11. Put your hands together for the feature race winner. It's Curtis Peel. McDonald home for second. Richter's will get third from Rigby. And Hamish Derrick, he's impressed tonight. Great drive from him, from Mitch Wogan, Patrick Ray, Braith Thomas, Aiden Rigby. And then back to Brody Wass and Khan Thorogood to round out our field. But Junior Sedan, top stars. And, and I tell you what, Billy McDonald is not going to be a happy man in there. Even after what he just did, he'll feel a feature race win taken away. But still an incredible drive from Curtis Peel. As he comes through turns one and two, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for him, the young fellow, the Bundaberg 11. It's Curtis Peel! One of those things, Brando, as we said, you always need a bit of pace to get to the front, but a little bit of luck does not go astray. Curtis Peel started on the second row, got elevated after McDonald looped it on the first lap, started on pole and never looked back. An absolutely great job as we get set for our new star final. And that was an incredibly quick junior sedan top star final. The track come alive. Oh, and Patrick Ray scraping his number plate as he leaves the track.